It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. This episode of Trivia Tracks is brought to you by ProMed Ambulance Services, care you can count on, and Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. This world-famous dietitian was responsible for one of the most famous fad diets in history. Robert Atkins was named by Time Magazine as one of their persons of the year in 2002, just one year before his tragic death. Born in Columbus, Ohio, on October 17, 1930, Atkins, who is of Jewish descent, moved with his family to Dayton when he was 12, where his father owned several restaurants. As a teen, Robert held all sorts of odd jobs, including a gig on a local radio show. In 1947, he finished second among 8,500 high school seniors on a statewide general scholarship test. Though he had dreams of being a comedian, Atkins eventually decided to pursue medicine and received a medical degree from Cornell University Medical College in 1955. Atkins completed an internship at Strong Hospital in Rochester, New York, and finished his residency in cardiology and internal medicine at hospitals affiliated with Columbia University. Atkins specialized in cardiology and complementary medicine and went on to open a private practice on the Upper East Side of New York City in 1959. His medical practice did not go well at first, and he began to put on weight. After doing some research, he decided to pursue a low-carbohydrate approach published by Alfred Pennington. Based on research Pennington did during World War II at DuPont, he began applying this approach in his practice, which became known as the Atkins Diet. The Atkins diet requires close control of carbohydrate consumption and emphasizes protein and fat as the primary sources of dietary calories in addition to a controlled number of carbohydrates from vegetables. In 1972, he published his first book. In 1987, at the age of 56, he married his wife, Veronica. His success inspired others to generate low-carb diets, and many companies released low-carb diets and low-carb foods. In 2002, Atkins went into cardiac arrest, leading many of his critics to point to this episode as proof of the inherent dangers in the consumption of high levels of saturated fat associated with the Atkins diet. In numerous interviews, however, Atkins stated that his cardiac arrest was not the result of poor diet, but was rather caused by a chronic infection. On April 8, 2003, Robert Atkins fell and hit his head on an icy New York sidewalk. He was admitted to Weill Cornell Medical Center, where he underwent surgery to remove a blood clot from his brain but fell into a coma. He died one week later at the age of 72. A report from the New York Medical Examiner's Office said that Atkins had a history of heart attacks, congestive heart failure, and hypertension, and that at the time of his death, he weighed 258 pounds. However, his widow refused to allow an autopsy. After his death, the popularity of the Atkins diet waned, with other low-carb diets eroding its market share and questions being raised about its safety. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me for Trivia Tracks weekdays at 645 on Everybody's Country Y95.